What up, people? How are you? I've been literally sitting here about 30 minutes deciding if I was going to make, make this video or not. Trying to figure out how I was going to word it to where it didn't offend people and to get my point across. But no matter how that I sit and try to ask the question, it always comes out that I'm being more apologetic about the question I'm trying to ask and trying to explain than, than anything. So here it is. So I'm just going to beat, beat around, the, not beat around the bush and tell you where I'm coming from. When did it stop being okay to be proud of who you are? In this day and age, you should be very proud about who you are as a person, as a human being. But it seems like the more and more and more as things are going on, you can people can be proud and be proud and happy and humble about who they are as long as you're not white male now if we're all supposed to be striving for the same thing and we're all supposed to be trying to get to the same place and we're all supposed to be trying to do good in this world what the hell's the color of your skin got to do with it I treat everybody the same. I don't care if you treat me not if you treat me the way that you should be treated, want to be treated. That's how I treat you. I don't care. I don't see the color of your skin. Some of my best friends are black, but I pose the question again: Why, when, and why is now a time and such that I can't? Be proud to be a white male. I was an ODU before my wife got cancer and I had to leave and go back to work. But before I even had left, I had already made up my mind that I had to change my major. Part of the reason that I had to, because I was one of the few older white guys in this class that was not able to be brainwashed. And I could have no opinion whatsoever because I was a white guy. Now, I find that freaking screwed up. The first text I read out of one of my classes was telling me how I had such white privilege. Now, I'm not saying that there's not some screwed up people in this world, and I'm not saying that there's not things that go on that aren't right from either side, from anybody. People are crooked. If you're crooked, you're crooked in your spirit. You're crooked to your core. Then there's nothing I can do for you and nothing nobody else can do for you. But when one person does something throughout history, you can't judge everyone for that. And because, because I feel that I'm proud to be who I am and proud to be a white male, you can't beat me over the head with that. You can't make me not out to be the villain because you don't know who I am. And just because if you don't want to be judged by the color of your skin... And you don't want everybody else to judge you and how you do things. And I'm talking about everybody else. Then what you do matters. What The color of your skin doesn't matter at all. So I just don't understand how and why and when it became to be a white male now in this day and age. I'm not supposed to have an opinion. I'm not supposed to have a thought and I'm supposed to just, you know, take what is given to me if I have an opinion on something. And I just don't understand it. And people, you're going to probably ask where this come from. 
Well, it just irks me. Facebook has come up with this thing to where they're going to start blocking. Um, they're going to start blocking white supremacist content or white nationalism content. So basically, if you're proud to be a white man, whether there's any hate involved in it at all, if you're proud of who you are, they're gonna they're gonna censor it. They're gonna block it, and you're gonna you're you're saying to yourself, "Oh, it won't be that way." Well, that's the way it's coming. Up Church already got blocked, <laughs> and and it, it, it's it's only it only get worse. When you start trying to censor people and you narrow it down to a color, it don't make any sense. Things just don't make any sense anymore to me. I ask question, I don't understand how, I, I just don't understand where and what the hell's going on. I really don't. You have... Another thing that irks the shit out of me that I want to get off my chest. How can you have a show called Blackish that does nothing? I can't even watch it because I feel like it does nothing but attack white people. And maybe I'm wrong, but that's just my opinion. But if you had a show called Whitish, the shit would never make it off. The, it would never make it past. It would never make it past the producers to put it, to get it on the show. Why does it have to have a name like that? The Jeffersons were what was a black TV show. Good Times was a black TV show. And I enjoyed both of them growing up. I watch the Jeffersons every day. And I, I mean, I just don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't understand. And this is not an attack on blacks. It's not an attack on whites. I mean, it's just my opinion of how I feel at this moment. And I feel like being white in this day and age it should not be something that I'm afraid of who I'm offending for living. And that's something that's, and that's the way I feel sometimes. You can be proud to be any other race, to be any other religion, but to be a white Christian male and be a conservative, then all of a sudden I'm evil. And that is far, far from the truth. Judge people by the con, as, as Martin Luther King said, judge people not by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. And I think we need to get back to that.